What is up, niggas, bitches, niggas and bitches, nigga bitches? What is up? Today, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite shows ever. Six seasons. One of the, probably the last good animated show on Netflix. And yes, it's better than Big Mouth. Today, we talking about Tell him, Izzy. Tell him what we're talking about. What's up, guys? This is here. You know what I'm saying? No, I got no, I got this today. And today we're talking about the great, magnificent, Bojack Horseman. Masterpiece of a fucking show, by the way. And if you say it's horrible, you can eat my fucking dick. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> but I have anyway. <laughs> and yes. Like I said, we're going to keep on going. We're going to keep on posting, you know, the shit that a lot of niggas want, which is us doing other kinds of content, recommending shows and shit, you know what I mean? And we still going to be the king of this podcast shit. Thank you for the love on the other episodes. As usual, you know we got to push a new goal. You know you know what the goal is. Get those views up! Hey guys. If we can... If we yes. can breach 48, if we could breach 20, if we could breach 19, then we could keep on going. We could keep on going for real, for real. So put them views up. Make sure we, you know, you push this to your friends. Send it to your friends, your family, your uncle, your aunt. Hell, even your baby brother. <laughs> send, it, send this podcast to your four-year-old <laughs> brother. Send this podcast to a newborn baby. It's, the point is, send it to anyone. Send this president. podcast to Killer Mike. <laughs> oh, can, oh, Killer Mike, a glorious ghost king. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. But yes. But, 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 but never Killer Mike. No, that's not, that's not about Killer Mike. No, yes. Him. Yes. no more Killer Mike. Yes. No more Killer Mike jokes. <laughs> For now. <laughs> Imagine to start putting Killer Mike in the <laughs> thumbnail. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, we'll do that. <laughs> oh, we talking about Bojack Horseman? Nah, nigga, we talk about Killer Mike. Killer Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, new season of Bojack's here? Man, fuck that shit. We listening to Michael. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, for real, anyways. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Michael Sweets. All right, I'm done, I'm done. But, um... But, yes. Um... All right. All right, sorry, I kind of fucking myself in the butt here. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> where'd that come from? Where did uh, that come from? Uh, I, Yo, I pulled it out of my ass. <laughs> All right, stop it up. Something's in my, my ass. ass. <laughs> Help me. All right, we're done. We're done. All right, no more. No more. Mm. All right, we gotta focus. All no right, more. no more. All right, all right, baby girl, we get it. I'm sorry for I'm sorry for Angel who's watching this probably. <laughs> I got this. Bro, she's watching this right now. He's, he's, harassing, he's harassing me, bro. <laughs> you don't understand. He's my slate. I'm done. Oh, all right, no. Okay, chill. <laughs> I'll play it. But um, yeah. Tell me. All right, I'll let you go first. Tell me what we're talking about today. Introduce him. Let him know, Nazir. Let him know. All right. Today is Bojack Horseman. Obviously, you know it's a really well well known show on Netflix. Um, f- funny about this show, it's been on Netflix for so long, and I never watched it until Jules recommended it to me, like, on, like one, th- one day. I'm going to go take so like, sure, oh. <laughs> Okay. So, yeah, Butter Corsman, great show on Netflix. Probably one of the best, last good anime shows on Netflix. Like, in my opinion, hot take. It's better than Big Mouth. Shut up. But anyways, Butter Corsman's a great show. Jules actually recommended to me this show. So, now I'll give it a try, bro. And, bro, this show... I had a really some emotional and dark turn, dark parts, bro. Let me tell you. Some of those be funny and cool. Some of them make you feel like crap, sad. And some episodes make you feel like thinking, like, bro, what I just watch? But yeah, overall, Bunch of Cousin is a great, great show. Definitely in my top five. Actually, yeah, my top five best shows I've seen in my life. Yes, sir. Steve. But yeah, Bunch of Cousin. But yeah, Bunch of is a great, great show. I recommend it to anyone who hasn't seen it. Watch it, please. Watch this please shit. Watch, watch this shit. For all the people that don't want to figure, that, that don't know how to figure out life, watch this shit. If you can relate to both, I, 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 that's a fucking issue. Watch this shit. 
<laughs> no, 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 but, but no, for real though, like actually watch the show. It's actually really good. Yes, bro. Yes. Why, hey, bro? If you if you don't watch it, bro, I'm gonna be in the corner of your room with a fucking baseball bat. I'm gonna break the calves open. You better watch this. What the hell? <laughs> no calves you? for you. No more exercise. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, show. we're show. gonna watch Yo Gabba Gabba. All right, not that. Stop the fuck age. Okay. Wash your, wash your hair, nah, bro. Wash your pussy. Wash your pussy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> wash that. Boy. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. All right, chill. <laughs> focus, focus. All right, I'm sorry. Focus. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Um. So yeah, but all right, bro. Though. Um, yeah, yeah. Nazir pretty much already summed it up. We, me, and him have a lot of favorite characters. We have a lot of favorite moments. We have a lot of crazy fucking moments that are big mentions in our uh, review of this show. And yeah, just overall, you know, that's just the whole vibe of this show. Um, to describe the premise of the show, BoJack Horseman is about a horse. I know, but like, you know, anthropomorphic animals. Basically, a society where humans and anthropomorphic animals, you know, live together. You think you might think, oh, it's Zootopia. Shut your furry ass up. No. No goddamn Zootopia. But um, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry to the Zootopia fans. I had to dish you for a second. <laughs> this isn't fucking <laughs> This isn't B Stars. This isn't Zootopia. God damn it. It's humans and animals. And I know I know a lot of you freaks out there, you know, y'all into that shit. But anyways, so that's <laughs> what I was trying to say. Um but yeah, man, uh it's about a it's about a literal horseman that um you know he 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 was a part of a nineties TV show, right? Called Horsing Around. Horsing Around. And um, it was a sitcom, you know, your 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 typical family sitcom, and years later we see w- what has been happening in his life after Horsing Around and we delve deeper into his origin, his life, and just overall just a lot of that. So basically, basically a washed up sitcom star. What happens to them? You know, drug overdoses, alcohol. Oh, and by the way, I shit, I should give like a warning here. Um, we do talk about some dark shit in this video. Bojack Horseman is a yes. show. It's a show. Yeah, this this show is dark. This show has some really really, really dark, dark moments. Really dark moments. But yeah, it's in the show. Um, so so w- yeah, warning is about warning. Yeah, watch for yourself and spoilers for some coming in moments. But you you won't get the context so you watch the show anyway. So you'll be fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Nazir, I'll start off with you. Who's your favorite characters in the show? You know, you can even off. Uh, I mean, I know, I I know. I probably would say all of them, but like, which character do you feel like you can either relate to, or which character do you feel like you fuck with the most? Loki. Of the Loki. Main cast, Loki. The main cast, got, yeah, Todd. Loki. Todd. Yeah. Todd. Uh, Loki. Todd. Bro. Todd is he's a goaded. I know, like the first scenes, kind of like he's one of his roommates doing lazy. Bro, later on in the season, bro, he becomes he, really my, cool. My, 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 yeah, it was really cool. He, he wanted like a development character. Like, he get lazy at first. We need to get more to show and more in depth. Then he becomes a really cool person. And, and he voiced like another Jesse from Breaking Bad. Can't forget about yeah, that. All, hey, Breaking Bad, Breaking Bad. Great show. But yeah, Todd, he's one of my favorite characters. My second best character it has to be Peanut Butter. It has to be Peanut Butter. It has to be. Yeah. My, peanut Butter, this dude, this dude was crazy. This was so funny. I really love Peanut Butter. You know, like him, like one up in like Bojack in the show. Like I don't know, it's, him and what a relationship in the show is really funny to me. I actually enjoy it. And uh, another character I like it has to be him, um, Diane. Bro, yeah. Diane, bro, bro. Yeah, Di- Diane's like the second main character in the show. She gets she goes through some arcs, bro. She, oh yeah, he goes some crazy stuff, bro. For her being like, dude, when her skinny and, and then broke up, I was so like. Devastated! Oh my gosh, she was insane. Cause like there were Loki as no couple in the show. It's just that like they really w- and Butter has a lot of issues. That he doesn't listen. Yeah, she, oh yeah, oh yeah, of course, yeah. But her character develop her character her character development in the show was really another thing to watch out as Diane. But yeah, the one three main characters, Bojack too. He's obviously the star of the show, the main character. He's going through a lot, man. Listen to like when, like the, after the sitcom ended, him and the other adult, him the fame, the drugs, yeah. alcohol, like influencing life. Like, bro, Bojack, bro, his childhood is messed up, bro. Dude, yeah, he is a childhood. very compl- complex character, in my opinion. Yes. Uh, it's like, he's one of the characters, like, you gotta get to watch it more to know, like, one of his backstory. But let me tell you, Bojack, it's a really messed up backstory. <laughs> yes, bro. Really messed up backstory. But yeah, those are my favorite, those are my favorite characters in the show. Favorite characters, for sure. 
Yeah. Um. Yeah, and yeah. So pretty much, just pretty much, he pretty much just summed up the fucking characters. But um, I think I want to do it next though, <laughs> just for the watch. Yeah. Um, favorite character in the show, Mister Peanut Butter. I don't care when you guys say a lot of people might find him annoying, but I he's he's for me he's the good kind of annoying. I like Mister Peanut Butter. Um, he's basically like mm-hmm. Bojack, except you know not washed up because he takes different movie opportunities every day. You know. He, he like he's like pretty much Bojack's polar opposite. While Bojack is a very complex, negative, influence kind of person, Mr. Peanut Butter is the complete opposite. He's always happy. He's never really depressed like that in the show. Not really, no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Very, very happy guy. Very, very upstanding guy as well. So like, 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 like we need to be we need a Mr. Peanut Butter in our lives. Yeah, no, for real. Yeah, for real. I know Bojack he has an issue, but Peanut Butter like I feel it's like to me like Bojack's like Bojack and Peanut Butter like yin and yang. Like one's like for sure. has an issue, but guy more like, I don't know. It's like the the work so well together, the characters like the relationship. It's just really good. It, it it works, you know. Yes, man. The characters. But um but yes. Yeah, but um my favorite character is Mr. Peanut Butter, pretty much just pull opposite Bojack and you know, his only issue in the show really in my opinion, which is that he just doesn't listen and he repeats a lot of the same methods in relationships, but you you'll you'll see that in the later seasons. Like I said, this will be spoilers, but you won't get the context until you watch the show. When you, you understand watch the show, show yeah, I'll, for yeah. sure. But um, yeah. So without 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 spoiling it too too much, um, my favorite character is definitely be Mr. Peanut Butter. Like, okay, if I were to make like a how much character show? One, two, Diane, Todd, Bojack, Carolyn, Peanut Butter. Okay, those are five characters. Okay, so. Number one, Mr. Peanut Butter. Number two would be Todd. Number three, low key, would be Bojack. He Bojack? Is, dude, he is a fucked up person, but seeing his development in the show. I, it, it, it's really like, it, it's something you get to see for yourself. I, I, we can't see anything yeah. much, bro, but like, it's just like, oh, like, like God, I can't like, explain it. Like, I can't like, even explain yeah, it. Yeah, literally, like, like, it, it was that jaw dropping. Number four, was- Diane, and number five, Princess Carolyn. Now, a lot of people, I, I know there's a lot of Princess Carolyn fans out there that are like, "Damn, you put her last." It's like she had, she ha- she has had great arcs in the show, but compared to everyone else, I don't she, know. She's like, she, she doesn't really change much. Not really. Yeah. Not as much. Yeah, not as much. But like, definitely seeing her get her independent moments in the show was really great. It, it, it was good to see for sure. Yeah. Now that's an independent woman right there. <laughs> Y'all can take some notes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, all you freaking fast ass girls, you know what I'm saying? So I chill with <laughs> fast that. ass, toxic ass, stupid ass. <laughs> oh, yeah, but anyways, yeah. yeah she, she, she's not a good character, but yeah, man. I just was like, yeah, characters, yeah. It's a it's, oh, great show. I, I can't even explain like, anything else because I just spoil a little bit. Well, me and him are just spoiled, but great show overall. Yes. Come on. So but, but we are going to spoil for uh, moments when we get there and for episodes. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, so, and we're going to break down reasons why Dark Red Carriage, or at least let me break down my reasons. Mr. Peanut Butter already said polar opposite, but Todd, he, for him being so stupid, he achieved so much. Much. He did so much. Governor like, of I know California he, I mean, at one point ran a whole movie business thing. He was a whole manager in the show, and he was stupid. He was a manager. That's what he has super ideas. But boy, let me tell you, stupid idea stupid. that worked somehow. What, it worked. Dude, that worked somehow. Like his arc of finding out that he's asexual and he's not really into stuff like that, yeah, was great to see. Great representation. That's crazy to witness. Yeah, crazy great man, representation for real. of of asexual people for sure. But um, yeah, what else here? Hold on. Um, shit, man. Uh, I think that. <laughs> I, I mean, it sums it up, right? <laughs> yeah, but like, I want to sum it up more. I'm done. Um. So yeah, uh, where is seasons? Yes. Okay. Let me look on Netflix. <laughs> I mean, yo, tell me, I'm on Netflix. I'm like looking. Okay, what's up? Like, yeah. Like, I don't now, understand. season one. Okay, I'll go over each season in my opinion. Season one. Very, like, you could say it's somewhat of a rocky start. It's them trying to find their footing, a lot of humor. But, like, once you get to the finale of season one and onwards, then. Bro, it, really it, 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 
this the show really sh- sh- ex- ex- show like expresses how they the kids feel. Yeah, the true color. Like season one's more like a yeah, like season one, like the first is more like okay, comedy, laughing. Humor, yeah, comedy, but I just yeah. see the one finale. It's more like comedy, funny, but once you like you said, season one finale ended onwards, bro, get away for a real coast of emotions. I'm saying this show to me is like a real coast of emotions. Like you yeah, feel happy. Bro. You feel sad, depressed. It's just so much. This show, so much. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, fun fact for everyone at home: this show was the first show to make me cry and go through a whole changing arc of my life. Now, it's, it's, I know it sounds corny. It sounds corny. I, yeah, it sounds like, corny. It sounds corny, but, but I guarantee you, trust. It's great. You um, watch the show. You, you'll you'll yeah. see. And season two, God, man, it kicked off everything so well. But like, it really did. But like the finale, cool. though, when he was when he tried to when he tried to sleep with the daughter, Bojack, God, that was crazy. That dude, was that, that was crazy. So insane. And then seeing how like you know like with the alcohol poisoning with the minor and everything, I was like, oh no, no, like that, that's, all, that like, whole like, like one prom night just went absolutely terrible because of him and he like one prom yeah like, like one prom night it went to like a domino effect like some he was crashing down every yeah, single dude. season Hi, bro three, season three was also really good i'm like season three was really good and the, yo my favorite episode in that season yo oh my god what happened to sarah lynn yeah that's season three remember what happened with sarah lynn oh bro, sa- bro oh, listen sarah bro sarah lynn i I I I don't even want to mention it because I'm gonna be a tear up. Anyway, yeah, I, I bro, like, name, bro. Like, I don't even want to say. When she said, "I want to be an architect," that was like, oh. like, 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 bro, like, and then, why? And, and then the stuff that that happened after. How no? Remember how BoJack hit it and everything? I'm like, oh my boy. Oh. Yeah, literally, bro. Like and that was. Oh my gosh, I I don't even want to explain more, bro. I don't yeah, want to explain. It was crazy, it. bro. It was crazy. Jeez. Bro, this this show has to be top five shows of all time. It might be oh, top yes. five at least. Oh yeah, it's top five. Heck, arguably, it might be my one. Loki, it might be my <laughs> one. Arguably, yeah, arguably, I, I, I would say next to Hazen Hotel, this has been my favorite show. Oh yeah, for right sure. Now. It's like Hazen Hotel, this and Stranger Things. I've been loving Stranger Things. Yo, Stranger so, Things, fire, bro. It's goaded. But yeah, but this show is. Oh my god, I yeah, crazy. and then um. And then we get to, uh, hold on. Season four. Yeah, season four. Season four was pretty good. This is pretty good season. Pretty good season. I, I, I'll say it's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, yeah. We really like it. Um, I, yeah. And, uh, you know, with Holly Hawk and everything. What really got me, though, was when Holly Hawk found out. Wait, no. Yo, what? Oh, my God. No. Yeah, no. When Pete Repeat came back. Yo, I was like, what? I was, what? I didn't even know that was him. No, and season four was really sad, too, when he went to the Sugarman place. The Sugarman place. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Oh, my yo, God. Yo, wait. Yes, how could yes. I forget about season four? Season four, yo. Times Arrow was so oh. twisted. Yo, it was. Times Arrow was a crazy-ass show. Not, I mean, episode, sorry. Crazy-ass episode. Was a crazy ass episode. It was zero. crazy, dude. I was crazy like, ass. "Oh my god, bro!" Find out Beatrice's story, why she's so abusive, and then just seeing like you know, and you just know like when because Beatrice is old, you just see everything start fading away, and then now I'm like, "Oh, Whoa. I'm like, yo, I'm like, damn, dude, why you gotta hit me like that?" Yeah, man. This, this show, like I said before earlier, this show is a lot of emotions to show, man. The show is. crazy. Fucking insane. Insane. And then there's gonna be season then there's season five, which season five was pretty good. I like season five. Yeah, no, there is no season five, I'm not underrating it because remember when remember when Bojack was off the pills and he choked that one woman? I was like, yo, and yo. like you <laughs> And yo. Yo, yo, and like you didn't know like what was reality and what was it because he just kept taking pills and fading in and out. Bro, that was that was something hard to watch. Okay. And Definitely season hard to six watch. Season six is such an S tier season. Holy, God, I love season six. Yeah, that, six was that like right the, there was I like see. The, like a perfect ending. 
to tell the show. Story. It's literally. But like, I felt like we could have gotten a season seven. Loki, yo, you may never know. They might make a season on, on the, the work behind yeah. the scenes. They could make another one. Yeah, they, but like, yo, season seven, Bojack, please make it happen. Yes, please. bro. Uh, let me know. I need to watch that. Like, oh, and also, like, our, uh, yeah, but yeah, but like, bro, just oh my god, man, that's fucking beautiful. It's beautiful, it really is. And just you know, the ending itself, showing you that not all is, friendships, relationships end in, on a good note. And Sometimes it ends on a bittersweet yeah. note. It's like when Bojack and I can't even say it, but like the stuff with Bojack and Diane at the end, you know, and then that Mister yeah, Blue and, uh, kicking in, yo, Mister Blue made me fucking tear up. Yeah, I, I, I don't even with talking. There is in the porch looking like looking at like, they were even. Uh, He's looking at the stars. That's how old Andy is. Mr. Blue, like Mr. Blue, I'm like, oh damn. Ah. Yeah, that 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 ending was like bittersweet. It's like crazy. It was more like bitter. I'm like, damn, bro. Like that's it. Yeah, and yeah, it's really like, you want to find out more, and that's the thing about Bojack. Or it's, like, it's a beautiful ending, but it's like now you want to show find like, out more. But yeah, we have to wait now. Season seven. Hopefully, they make one because they should totally nah, still be making. Nah, bro. I think we'll be on that. Nah, we're not getting that because Netflix canceled the show a while back. Netflix. Canceled oh really? The show a while oh, back. why? Because it was. I heard from a lot of people because it was hitting too close to home for a lot of people and it was too realistic. And I'm like, what do you mean too realistic? That's the point of the show. That's like the point of the show. I'm, I'm like, bro, the show. <laughs> the whole point of the show is to be realistic. What What are we talking about here? The only unrealistic part is that we have a fucking horse, a dog, a cat as the main cast that are talking. We're two humans. Or that are going through some stuff. Like, yeah, ours. They, yeah, but they go so, through very human experiences. No, no, no. It's funny. So, so they came to this show, but I'm okay on Sex Education, the one Europe show. I'm just saying, bro. Come on now. All right, but all right, but Nazir, I'm gonna let I'm you go first. Man. Name your top five craziest moments, saddest, darkest, or even best moments in BoJack World. Bro, I mean, I want to start, bro. I, I don't even know. I, I'm thinking I got top five. I, I, I'm, I'm. Oh my gosh, I don't even know, bro. You don't even gotta make. Oh top my god, just, just name five off the top of your head. Number okay for sure. My the saddest scene honestly was like the Times Arrow. That whole like that whole that show that's like number one for me. Ooh. That was twisted, bro. The second best saddest moment was like with the last episode of the sixth season with Diane and like her in the, was like talk like not talking to her and like the what like the song play. Yeah. That was like up there, bro. The third song don't was with Herb. Like we heard Herb got cancer. Don't forget oh yeah Herb yeah, but don't forget um the beautiful halfway down as well. Just put it in there. The what? The I'm sorry, we said. That one was crazy. Oh yeah, I, I was gonna say that. <laughs> I'm in my fourth, but freaking. No, yeah, yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. So you said her getting Oh yeah, oh, 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 her saying get the fuck out by now. So Bojack. Oh. Yo, bro, let me. I was like, bro, no. He's like, not, you know, forgive you. My, like, that was crazy, bro. You said the fourth, but the fourth craziest show was uh, the part was uh, but like having with the little with the you know the minor. We're talking about that. But yeah, that's my craziest show. That's my craziest part. In my fifth, bro, probably when Diane, like, like, when we like, broke up, bro, like, that was insane to saw that, you know what I'm for saying? Me, for me, for me, number one, most, like, biggest moment for me, the view from halfway down. That shit made mm. me tear up. Like, when they showed all the people in the show mm. that died, when they were, li- when, dude, when, dude, their, dinner, their dinner was literally what the last thing they ate before they died. I'm like, what? And then Bojax was pills. I'm like, yo. Like, bro, that 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 whole episode no, was dude, like, dude, dude, dude. And then the musical where each of them jump into the black void. The void, yeah, the black. Vo- oh my gosh, I, I, yo, the even half halfway down, top five best. But craziest show, like yeah. episodes, honestly, yeah. whole, so, yeah. whole series. Number one, if you if you do halfway down. Number two, what happened to Sarah Lynn in season three? Oh my gosh, yes. I'm Sarah Lynn. Number that was three? Insane. What, the finale of season two with Charlotte and Penny. Mm. That shit. Charlie and Penny. Insane. Mm. With the prom night shit. That was pretty so That's number three. The prom night, that was four, insane. Time zero for sure. Time mm. zero for sure. Mm. And number five? Shit. 
probably when Todd finally told Bojack, if you, it's not your path. Yo, you know, I you forgot like, about that. He said, oh, he just I forgot said, it's about you. that. And it I'm like, you. damn. Even the dumb nigga. Even the, home, even the, no, even your home roommate, your homeboy saying that, bro. Dang. And that's the issue, like, bro. He says, "Not what happened in your career. It's not about your past. How you were abused. It's you doing these issues." I'm like, like oh. "No, but that's for the, like how like people. But that's for real, like people do that though. Like, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Bro. My honorable yeah. mention. I, 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 my honorable mention. The finale, of season six. That shit made me cry. Oh yeah, for sure. Yo, I, I, I when, don't know. Um, yeah, we're we're gonna say who it is, but like when he got let out of jail and he had to like talk talk to his friends one last time before going back because he got released on furlough from Mr. Peanut Butter. Dude, oh my and the God, fact that, that Mr. Peanut Butter crazy. was the only friend that didn't cut him off. Like, bro, let me tell you, Peanut Butter it has he has to be top five. Like, he is literally such a good friend. No, because this thing, this thing, this thing Princess Carolyn cut him off. And moved on with her life. Diane was worried about him, but wasn't. She just did. Even and Todd, bro. Even Todd even was. Todd, bro. Dude, dude. Even Todd, dude. Remember when Todd said the said the Bojack? Can you lift me up one more time to so lift the stars? I mean, I know you don't want to do it. And then Bojack did it anyways. And then they're saying goodbye. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? Like, yo, bro. See ya. Yeah, that's how friends are, bro. Like people cut you off, you know. This year, but it was that I mean, one I, 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 I mean, but yet that. again, Bojack is the one that caused that to happen to himself. Exactly, he caused it though. But at least it's like one friend to help him out. At least one friend. Least yes, one bro. And Mr. And Mr. Peanut Butter, who literally released him on furlough and everything. I'm just like, yo, Mr. Peanut Butter is such a good person. He said his only Mr. issue Butter. was that he doesn't listen. And like, no, the thing. Oh. Another honorable mention for Crazy's moment. When when they took you through Mr. Peanut Butter's dates in that one episode, and they oh, showed you his yeah. issue, they showed you what was what what his flaw was. Not only is he a serial dater, but he keeps doing the same thing every time. Dang. And it, it took Diane to tell him, like, you keep doing the same thing, the same pattern, and you realize that. Mm-hmm. It took his ex to tell him that. I'm like, oh, damn. If it takes your ex to tell you that to change about something, that's some crazy stuff, bro. Yeah, it, it, it is, bro. It really is. It really is. But yes, um, we pretty much, yeah, and we pretty much got that side. We can't spill any much more for you. We reached our 27-minute mark. It's probably going to be our shortest episode, but I honestly, I would definitely, okay. yeah, I don't care. And honestly, I would definitely say this could be short. This, this has an excuse to be short because we need you to look at that show. I understand the, an- the, I understand the animation. No, no, the animation is going to take some getting used to. I understand, you know, it's anthropomorphic animals, it's 2D, and blah, blah, blah. It's going to take a little bit of getting into, but when you really smooth into it, when you're down for the ride, you will really appreciate the show and the lessons it shows you. And, and one thing I will tell you, don't ever say in this show that all the characters are always right. Because there is times where they do shit that's wrong. You know what I mean? For sure. That's what, yeah, that's what makes this character human. Todd, I mean, Todd can do something wrong. Diane did something wrong in the show. Bojack did a lot of shit wrong in the show. Princess Carolyn did some stuff that was wrong in the show. Mr. Peanut Butter did a lot of stuff that was wrong in the show. Like, they all, like, these are animals, but they feel human. And that's the sad part. And that's the greatest part because us, us humans, we, we deal with the same thing they deal with, or like similar. A lot of so us are gonna make mistakes. The same shit. Like we may not relate to the whole, you know, sitcom thing, like whatever. and like being like, rich or whatever. That, but like, it's the human lesson they show you in there. Told you, that's the that's the part that hits you. Yo, show. you know what's another good it, moment? So- when Mister when Mister Peanut Butter called out BoJack on his show earlier in the seasons. You remember that? When like Bojack kissed Diane, he's oh, like, no. I didn't know you kissed my wife. That one. Oh yeah. I was like, uh oh. Yeah, he got yo, that's the first time I've ever seen Mr. Peanut Butter get pissed. Because no, it's because Bojack I, says I, 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 it, Yeah, it's cause Mr. It, no, it's cause Bojack says something about him and Diane's relationship. So he's like, Oh, really? You wanna get real? I'm like, ah damn, you pissed the dog off. I'm like crazy. No, but yeah, man, like this show honestly, let's give the show a try. 
I just watched the episode. At least some, at least anything. At least we, try we, to get into it, Shy. Like, we're not forcing you, but come on. I just give it a try. I just like one season. Minimum is one season, at least. Yes, man. Yes, man. All right. Well, that's pretty much it. And, you know, and this is, our, and this is going to be probably our outro, probably the shortest one we've ever had. Probably. It's okay, because this show... Show's worth it's it. So, like, we can't... Like, we like, can't like, like, everybody like, this like, show. Like, like, even a week, we, like, we can't hold your hand and babysit you through the entire shit, bro. You got to, like, really bro, watch. I, 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 it, it, it's your choice to watch the show. But you, we, like, 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 this show, like, Jules from the... Like, I always seen this show on Netflix. I never watched it on the industry. But when I tell you, bro, get in... It's like, when you get into it, give it a chance, bro, you won't regret it. I'm, I'm telling you right now. Right now. Don't... It's so good. It's yes, really, bro. really good. That show. Yes, bro. And... Yeah, no, uh, and, and and just oh, and, like 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 for them, like I, I didn't hold his ears hand. I was like, look, this show got some dark ass content. I can't say anything about it. This show got some dark ass content. So watch it. <laughs> and I did, and he was yeah. lying. Dark ass content. Yeah, like dark ass stuff. But it was it's it's a good show regardless. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So let's give it let's give it a try. For sure, Steve. Um. Yeah, but uh, hold on, give me a second. Sorry, it's texting. Um, but yeah, and that's just, oh, that's pretty much yeah. that. Yeah, that's pretty much about it, you know. And just we'll see you guys in the next video. Like, like, as usual, like, we'll see you guys in the next video. And we are going to go on a slight break. Slight break because next episode we're, we're gonna have some stuff for you guys for all the wrestling fans out there. That's all I'm gonna say. We get or, or that or we're gonna be talking about a certain hitman played by Keanu Reeves. So we need we, we need a break to get our guest here and then for me and just yeah. This whole uh, thing. I think a slight, slight break, not not yeah, too much. Break. I promise, promise you guys. We also need room for my catching up podcast, which I'm gonna be doing by myself. Probably really late at night as well. I'm probably gonna be doing it, so just keep that in mind. And yeah. Okay. So, yeah. And as usual, we're, we're, we're gonna push the same idea. We got catching up, and we got, you know, you know what I mean? Catching up, and then we got music and news. Mm-hmm. For sure. Um, for sure. Yeah, so this is gonna be Music Idiots signing out for now. We will be seeing you guys in whatever next endeavor. We take a part in whatever we choose next as our endeavor. We we love you guys. We appreciate you guys, you know, putting us on with the videos and letting us talk to you, letting us, you know, smooth with you, you know what I mean? Letting us tell you all these things. Now, remember, Music Idiots is not over. This shit is not going to end like this. We just started season two. We just started it up. We're only, and I will spoil this right now in total for how many episodes season two will be. It'll be 12 episodes. You guys, are getting, you guys are getting you guys getting you guys eleven to, or twelve episodes of season two, with season two at the end, which I do plan this year because I was just thinking about it just now. We're gonna do a special. We're gonna do a little special where we probably like rewatch all of our podcasts, think of all the moments we've had so far on it, and what we're gonna what we and like what what do we want to do to improve our podcast in the future? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, for for sure. Yeah, so that's a little 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 sneak peek. Little, as, yeah, a little snippet, little, little snippet, little peek. snippet. So yeah, so yeah, obviously yeah, just just buckle in for the ride. And I like I said, I will be uploading my catching up podcast soon. It's gonna be interesting. A lot more serious, a lot more chill, a lot more, you know, vibey than than yeah, all sure. this. This for one's sure. chaotic as shit. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, it's not great. Yeah, but we will yeah. see you guys in the next video. You guys have an amazing day, amazing night. And we love you guys. We appreciate you guys. And yeah, let's do our, and let's do our outro. Kitsune, play the, play the soundboards, both of them, because, you know, you got to boost this shit. You got to boost your shit. But yes, play them. Play that soundboard real quick, Kitsune. We got to get out of here. Play the outro. I want to go home. <laughs> I want to drink some coffee, eat some pancakes. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. All right, I'm not gonna lie though. I gotta take a shit. <laughs>
<laughs> I am gonna say this on the podcast. I gotta take a shit, bro. I don't know when, but I gotta take a shit. Hold this bit in. Yo, know, here, I'll do the I'll do the outro. But yes, we will be seeing you guys in the next video. Goodbye. I kinda know.